hello there, insiders. Here we are again um, at Todd's house. Hey, Todd. Hello. <laughs> um, it's Monday morning. Um, he actually bought a, a motorcycle um, from uh, Kawasaki, but uh, the whole thing has been done on the liner, which I thought was quite novel. Um, but hey, and this is Thailand. Uh, yeah, so we've just been told that it arrives in 20 minutes. So I thought I'd just bit of a bit of a sort of a heads up about what we're doing here. Uh, a few people wanted to do a house tour, but I don't know how much how clean's your house at the moment. Uh, not clean enough. <laughs> not clean. No, not clean enough for a video. <laughs> uh, a later episode. <laughs> That's going to be a later episode. Um, yeah. So you know, it's a bachelor house. Come on, you know, it doesn't have a maid service. You know, <laughs> you know what it's like. Um, so we might do that next time. Uh, well, he's, he's got, going to be doing some watering and some grass. What are you doing there? So you've done a little bit of a house plan for doing the grass outside. It's concrete, concrete, and you, you've got to, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I'm just going to do the measurements and, yeah. You can do the measurements, yeah. Shun just, well, Shun just going to put the people who did our lawns in touch with him, but they, so they just wanted measurements and square metre area and where we're going to put it. That's another, another video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, 20 minutes. Well, that's 20 minutes Thai time. What do you th you're familiar 20 with? 20 minutes Thai time from what I've learned <laughs> with deliveries now. Um, it could be, we could be going out to lunch somewhere. And yeah, yeah, back. coming back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he's only been here, what, next week you do your 30, uh, 90 day check-in, so not quite three months and he's already getting used to Thai time. Anyway, um, we'll pick it up in a few minutes when, well, in, well, almost now in the video time, but we'll just wait till the video, well, till the guys arrive. We've had two phone calls, one from the driver who couldn't speak English and, well, barely speak English, who obviously then called back to Mother Hoik and said, hey, um, he wanted to know what time and I don't know how to say those words. So then, of course, the guy that you helped yep. <laughs> he called us back and he said he'd be here in 20 minutes. But yeah, that's 20 minutes, as long as everything goes right, but still got to get through the last bit of traffic and everything else. Anyway, shortly. Well, this would probably be a first time I've actually seen somebody say 20 minutes, and 20 minutes it is. What the car? <laughs> it's pretty much spot on 20 minutes. There it is, and he's going to have fun bringing that out. I think we'll give him a bit of a hand. We don't want to scratch it. <laughs> but these guys are pretty good when it comes to pulling these things off. I remember they did Mum's scooter. I thought, oh my God. Give these guys a bit of a plug that they it's a uh, motor uh, well, motorholic. Uh, they're up, uh, what is it? Whereabouts are they? They said, uh, not non non tabuddy, non free, yeah, uh, near the um, things around about. Yeah, so I like there's a lot, there's a pin. I'll drop a pin there for uh, where the shop is. Uh, they have a couple of places. These guys here really know what they're doing. Oh my god. Looks pretty sweet. <laughs> yes, that's the 2018 version. This is the 2020 version. <laughs> they still pretty much look identical. Of course, I've done the exhaust change and the, uh, the what they call the ape anger handlebars. There you can actually see the two different style handlebars side by side. Um, and that's one of the things we're going to do today. So give Todd a bit of a, you know, what's it feel like with the ape hangers and what's it feel like with the, um, what do you call it, the booster plug to see how he feels, you know, uh, whether he wants to go to those, uh, those changes. We'll be modifying this, right? That's right, yeah. He wants to move the, 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 the pegs forward. Um, they said they were going to do that, but uh, I think there was a lost in translation again. Thing with moving the, the pegs forward, you need a longer rod through there. Um, and I think that's the problem, they couldn't get it in time. They wanted to get this thing all paperwork and everything done before the end of the month, and it is, and it's the 28th of February, and this is the end of the month. Um, anyway, so here's the guy, well, let's do the paperwork, we don't want to bother anybody with that sort of stuff, and we'll pick it up from there. Well, there he goes, he's done the delivery. There's the machine there. It's, you've got to get fuel in it, it's the first stop. Yeah. <laughs> Grab a helmet and we're going to get some fuel. It's uh, yeah, it's flashing on the E. That's the. the it's all right. This is normal. You only got to go up. You know, like we can we can contra flow down. You know, half a kilometre. I'm pretty sure really? we can. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, we should get, we should be able to get down there without any problem. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Now all you get to do is sit on this one, sit on this one. Tell me that, the, the, the feel difference with the handlebar. I'll take my helmet off first. Yeah, so that's with the ape hangers on it. Yep. All right, and uh, then of course you the feel of this one here. It's still, it's still a comfortable ride, but I just felt the ape hanger position just put your hands in a, well, in a more uh, relaxed position. That was why I had them changed. Uh, it's yeah. more like that's what they, the more the the older LTD models had in the ape hanger style. Probably yeah. Need to be up here a bit more. Yeah. yeah. This is something yeah, we right. can yeah we can talk to our guy that made my ones and sort of, sort of see what he can come up with. But uh, you know we've got the wheels. That's the main thing. They're here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a bit of a test ride. I think first we're going to do is get some fuel in it so we can uh, so it doesn't run out. And so we'll take a run down the road, get some fuel, then come back and we'll do a bit of up and down the street driving. Yep. And see how you feel around the little around the little roundabout thing. We might even show you the the gym and the pool. Uh, I said he hasn't got the house cleaned yet, so um, <laughs> he doesn't have the maid service yet, so it's all right. Not yet. <laughs> it's a bachelor pad. It is. <laughs> it is. Now I've got the bike. It's a official bachelor. Yeah, official, pad. official, official, <laughs> an official bachelor pad. Okay, so what he's going to do, he's going to take the my Vulcan around, so get the, a feel of how the booster plug works in comparison, because I really never got to do a side by side, you know. Uh, when I when I did my testing with the booster plug, um, it was just something we really couldn't do side by side. But anyway, see how he goes. You can tell the difference. Yeah. And yeah. Do it, just jump back on, just get a, again the same feel again, just do the same thing. And uh, that's, you know, because I really never, never, never got a chance to do the side by side, but I wouldn't take the booster plug out now. Um, I do like the way it feels. Okay. It's in gear, it's in gear. Yeah, it's gotta you gotta break it in, yeah, you gotta You're a cowboy now. You gotta you gotta run it in. Yeah. Um, there's a lag between first and second yeah. in regards to the power. To I power. could even hear it going, just going up there when you're just changing first second. How it sort of boom, 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 yeah. how it labors at that low RPM, which the booster plug seems to get rid of. Well, first gear is not enough ratio to be able to move forward enough to do the roundabouts, yeah. the sharp turns, and you try and kick into it in second gear. Yeah. You need that extra boost because it does have that. Mm. Yeah, well, that's what the booster plug does. People think it's about uh, top end performance, but no. it's not. It's about it's a low end richening up the mixture, yeah. so it's got a little bit more oomph in the cylinder for those low RPMs. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's how the booster plug works. And yeah, you can actually see here there's a this little temperature sensor here, which connects to a computer, yep. um, which then sort of says, well, it, it tells the motor it's actually running colder. So it's like running a little bit with the choke on, yep. I suppose, you know. So, and that just rich and it rich. It, it, I don't know exactly the numbers, how much it richens it up, but yeah. Well, uh, I felt that five to eight percent difference yeah. with the bottom end um, thrust in 
yeah. improvement, I suppose. And what about the handlebar position? Uh, handlebar, yeah. yeah. Yours are good. Um, they're, they're too low, too forward. Yeah. Um, but it's not built this spec here in this country for someone my size. Mm. So they'd have to probably uh, reach another two and a half inches and raise to about two and a half inches. Yeah, which, so. is, which is effectively what I got, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's, well, we'll, we'll, once we got all the, uh, you know, they've got the green book come through and they got the plates and all that other sort of stuff, yeah. uh, you'll get used to that sound here in Thailand that the plates don't come with the bike. Uh, they'll no come. Plates. They'll they'll come <laughs> a month later. No, you can ride them. I mean, that's the thing. As long as you take your, you know, that certificate of registration. registration yeah. yeah, the insurance was what they call the road tax certificate, which is a piece of paper. Um, that's all you need. It says the fact that if you had an accident, then of course you've got the insurance, third party personal injury, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, uh, there's so many bikes you see running around. Uh, and again, we've, still, we've had the, the MG now for two months. You've still got the red plates. You've still got the red plates, you know, still got the dealer plates, you know. Uh, she told me that, you know, last week that they said it's two more weeks. But it's always two more weeks, you yeah. know, I mean, you get used to it. Well, it was like half an hour this morning and then another half an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it's all good. Um, I think you're happy. You look happy. You're, you're Very happy. Brimming, yeah. brimming smile from, from ear to ear. Well, the Wiley Wombat riders have finally arrived. <laughs> that's the main thing. <laughs> that's the next thing, isn't it? We've got to get our T-shirts printed up. and uh, But yeah, that's another, another job for another day. But... Um, as for the exhaust, I don't know what you want to do about the exhaust. The only thing I, the main reason why I changed my exhaust was the fact that if you get down here, ugh, I don't know if you can really see um, this, uh, what they call the resonant, re resonator box down here. Yep. No, a bit, bit, bit towards the back, the back there. Yep. It, was, it, was, it was actually banging on you know, the speed bumps you go over. Because these bikes have a, an extra long wheelbase. And so when this wheel goes over the first bump, it does compress down, which seems to just time it perfectly to clip the top of a typical speed bump. But well, they're not like Australian ones. Australian yeah. ones are probably Wide, a yeah. meter, meter uh, yeah. point 0.2 in width. Yeah, uh, these ones I've... these ones are 12 inches wide and they're six inches high, you know, yeah, yeah. and and that's it. It just yeah. So once I decided taking mine off, it got rid of that problem, and I don't I don't hit speed bumps anymore. Yeah. But yeah, so. But again, uh, it's only certain people, and again, you know, it depends on the speed you're going over a speed bump, and how how carefully you take the speed bump, you know. Anyway, so I thought we might take a quick wander and show them the show them the estate, uh, so you know, so they get an idea where you live. Well, they can do that. Well, for those people who are wondering about the lawn, well, he's only moved in. You know, we've been here a month now, haven't you? A month and a half. About a month, yeah. About a month, and like the other people's lawns, they 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 they're fairly unkept as well, so. Uh, and they actually own these places we're only renting but we are doing something about that you'll probably come and borrow my mower at some stage <laughs> um we'd like to take a video of that too i'm sure <laughs> we've had a few people in our uh, meetup group our friday meetup group giving us a bit of grief about you know why do you live out this way um and we as you can see why wouldn't you um, we've got one of our mates, you know, he's got a one or two, is it one or two bedroom apartment for 16,000 baht a month. Uh, that's one. One bedroom or one something, 16,000 baht a month. He's got a three bedroom house for, and look at the place, it's, it's magical. Well, if you like this sort of living, but you know, then it can, some people just love uh, condo living. Uh, what can you say? It's got a little park here. Uh, the park does get used. I see people in the park. Yeah. Uh, it's got outdoor gym equipment. Oh, don't start. You're yeah. not going to get me on that stuff. Um, that looks dangerous. Canyon's going to watch this. So. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Thailand. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't have me doing exercise in Thailand. I might actually lose some weight. <laughs> We've finally got uh, a guy on our, uh, what do you call it, uh, entry to our soy, but this one's actually gated. And... The guy in the box there, or all the guys in their box seem to know who we are. Hi, the cop! <laughs> yep, and here's the, here's the pool. Uh, again, fairly well kept. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a pool for doing laps, it's a pool for just general relaxation. Hi, the cop! Go to the gym. Okay. Does that have a sauna as well, or just a gym? I haven't asked about the sauna. Okay, so you've got your, uh, your 
lavatory or your wash closets. So what's in this side here? Office. Yeah. Okay. So do you need to get a key or something, do you? I need to get a key, but I haven't done this. I didn't bring my photo home with me last time, so I want to take a photo. Oh, you've got to find out how to get the How to get the key. Get the it was entry. open last time I was here, so. What yeah, well, I can have? basically, s you guys can't see. Yeah. I can see some devices in there through the, well, through got, the shadows. It's got a, a, um, a psychic rod. It's got a rubbing machine, it's got three weights, and it's got two bikes. Yeah, okay. That's all right, nothing wrong with you. That's the sort of stuff you need for a gym. Of course, now you've got the, your phone and you've taken the photo to find out how to get in. Right, and you can organize a key. I guess what, the little, you can keep gear here as well? Yeah, okay. can not, the, and not that you really need it. No. And it's all in tire as well, I don't know what that one says. Something about the rules of the pool. Yeah. No bombing, no diving. And uh, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Okay. No baby diapers, no jeans, no shirts, no dresses, no zippers, I guess. Underwear. Uh, no snorkels and no dogs and no food. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like we're going to get a key to open up and have a look. Okay, a bit of a mirror. Uh, Something like a weight bench. So do some free weights. Yeah, cycle machine, treadmill. Yeah, you don't really need much more than that. No. If you want more free weights, you put them in at home, I guess. Yeah, and I did check last time I was in. Yeah. You can come, you just got to sign in to say we're here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. And that's your air conditioner, you got to turn that on. You probably remember to turn it off on your way out. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So now you've got no excuse. <laughs> no, it's your, it's your villa, not mine. Uh, yeah. So yours is the third one. No, that's the street, yeah, so it's a bit over the... Uh, it's a, yeah, yeah, that's the back end, yeah. yeah. I still love the way Thailand works with the... Look at this tin shed <laughs> arrangement. There you go. They still have a courtesy... Uh, was it a golf buggy to take your, I think, new visitors around? I'm guessing the fact that maybe some of these places aren't sold yet. Just looking at that one there. It's got no furniture in it, for sure. Um, Actually, both of those haven't got furniture in them. That one's just been sold. Uh, okay. It did have a for sale sign on it last week when I went okay. for a walk. Uh, that sign's now missing. So. And this one here looks like it's... That's still for sale, that one. For still, for still for sale? Yeah. What are they asking? Like, what does making at 5.29 mil? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're smaller than the Shanyas. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes you wonder whether we get it, got a good deal on our house at 3.8 million. We've got a big, bigger footing. We've got an extra room per house. Probably a more square meter area. But uh, it's probably why she managed to get the, the loan at the full value because when you start to see in a property market yeah. a smaller house going for more, they probably saw the potential value, you know, overall value in the house. So uh, uh, buying now, you got it at a discount. Yeah. So it already had at least 10% uh, equity in it <laughs> when we signed the papers. Who knows? Well, there was a person that had it before, Shania, and they let it go. They, so, yeah, that, was yeah. That, that happened as well. Yeah. yeah. So I think we got a pretty good deal on ours. Uh, but again, uh, it's not in my name. We'll definitely discuss that at some stage, the property market and how it works over here. Uh, people have different ideas, different feelings about all that sort of stuff. Well, we're a temporary resident here in Thailand, or a guest resident, um, owning property. Well, the problem is a Farang cannot own a piece of grass. No. That's it, that's the end of the story. Uh, but there are technical ways around that which I'm not even going to discuss I'm not qualified to discuss it um, they do require lawyers and everything else and what they call 100 year leases and so on and so forth but the technical side is it's actually the footing the ground that the houses sit on is what can't be sold 
to a foreigner. Yeah, you can own the house. Yeah, but it's a mortar, not a problem. <laughs> yeah, but it's this piece of grass, uh, that little section of thing. If I want to put shown this house in my name or in our name, we'd have had to go on through a whole bunch of paperwork to actually separate the land, land from the value of the house, yep. then we would have to pay cash for the land to say that it's fully secured, she owns the piece of land, and then she would lease the house to us. Yeah. You know, and get, it's a whole complicated story, I don't want to go into it. Um, whereas, uh, typically owning a condo, or even renting a condo, you know, well renting a condo is not really part of the equation, but owning a condo, you are paying uh, what they call a service fee, yeah. uh, which does include the leasing sort of arrangement or that's in that rise tower. So that's how it basically works. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get my mask on for. <laughs> trying to talk and breathe at the same time as a mask on. Yeah, a lot of fun. But I've got my bike, that's yeah. start. <laughs> yeah, so you got your bike. Well, you do want to get a smaller one for doing up, up the road for uh, you know, like the typical, you know, 7-Eleven runs. I've got to say, contraflow on a big bike is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird. It feels weird first. I'm used to it now because, you know, like, that's what you do, you know. Yeah. Um, this is Thailand, after all. Um, and, of course, the other thing is getting a car that'll fit in this space here. Um, that's the next project. I've already found one, yeah. but let me let me get my budget sorted. That's right. You've got you to get your house in, in Australia sold. That, that gives you back your cash flow. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you've, you're... Your, your personal savings have uh, pretty much been locked up in everything that you've done in LA. So it, all the budget has worked out all, all along. So yes. uh, we're not going to discuss the numbers, but you know these are the sort of things that I think are very rarely talked about, uh, about sort of the whole move into Thailand process, is the, you know, what it really costs to make that you know, solid move. You know, and typically 99% of the population around the world just don't have the cash. No. to do it and you do you need you need a cash um, basis to work from um, and again that's something that you need to plan for well exactly yeah. you've hit the nail on the head yeah. you've got a plan it wasn't an overnight thing for me mm. um, I have done the budgeting for it mm. um, I've had to tweak the budget since I've been here but you do that when you start a new project yeah. nothing is ever black and white you do have your grey areas so yeah, I've been flying. working with the grey. Yeah, flow with the grey, yeah, so the, the grey flow area. Anyway, um, we're going to get out and obviously wrap up things here and uh, we'll catch up with your next video. Uh, don't forget, uh, you know, you got any comments, questions, you know, that's what the little box is down below, the comment section is for. Definitely ask questions if you want. Uh, if not, uh, meet us on the Discord. We can quite happy to talk to you there if we can pull us away from gaming. Yeah. Anyway, peace out, people. See ya. Shoot a lithium so high, high, a place that